हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू कॉग्नी सॉल्वर आई नो बहुत दिन के बाद ये एक वीडियो डाल रहा हूँ मैं मैं बहुत ही बिजी हूँ मैं बताऊँगा मैं क्यों बिजी हूँ बाद में आई वॉज वेरी वेरी बिजी सो या इसलिए मुझे वीडियो डालने में बहुत टाइम लग रहा है बट कोई बात देर आए दुरुस्त आए तो ये वीडियो ये होने वाली है बेसिकली दैट हाउ यू इंक्लूड हाउ कैन हाउ यू कैन इंक्लूड चार्ट इन योर एंगुलर प्रोजेक्ट्स you know we often come uh, into situation where we want to include some charts in our application in our web page uh, in our web application so we'll learn about it today that how uh, we, we can include uh, charts and not only one type of chart we will learn about pie chart bar chart donut chart line chart and double line chart as well very easy steps to follow uh, using this steps we can easily into, uh, include charts in our angular application and yeah so let's let, let's see what we can uh, what we will implement in this following video so first uh, so uh, first and foremost thing i have not concentrated upon the styling of the web page as it is just a demo or a tutorial video on how to include the chart so we'll be focusing mainly on the logic of including charts in your web pages uh, we'll just not focus on the styling part i think uh, i mean everyone can uh, style their web page based on their perspective their pov and their theme of the application so that's why i'm not going into the uh, styling part it's a very clean looking clean simple uh, web page you can see on the very first screen we can see there is a welcome uh, message and uh, information please click on the our buttons to see respective chart graphs just a uh, uh, just for viewing purpose you know so just to know that what is happening to the viewer can understand what is happening inside on the web page let's see first pie chart so if i click on this pie chart so i can we, we can see there is a pie chart open for some random data some company's name are there uh, and which color belongs to which kind uh, company and there are some numbers some random numbers are there obviously these are this can be your data points they can be multiple companies multiple things and, and doesn't means that it's only for companies you can put any data any party or any any kind of data points we can put in this chart and then our pie chart will be generating and similarly for bar chart if you see so same again you see the cool animation it has uh, if you click on bar chart similarly we learn how to generate a donut chart so this is a, a donut chart you see very cool animation we'll learn about line chart and then double line chart perfect so these are the uh, five charts which we going to explore on in this video that how to implement them in your angular projects uh, so just to give a little context uh, we'll use chart.js uh, library for this i'll set up the project i'll download all the dependencies and i'll i'll show you how to do that so that uh, if you follow along with this video yeah we'll have uh, at the end of the videos we'll have a better uh, pov or better information about how to start this particular thing okay so we'll now jump to uh, the project installation and all okay so let's jump to our vs code okay guys so i have created a folder called angular charts and then i i'm going to run a command here to generate a uh demo or uh, angular application so i'll just do ng new and i'll just name the my app that's angular charts and i'll just let it uh, download all the dependencies and all it will take a little time when you if you're doing for the first time in your epic in your system I'll ask for some permits some things uh you have to uh select something like would you like to add angular routing yes we love to uh, add this routing thing uh, because that th then only we'll route from one component to other component second do you want css scss sass or lss so we'll go with default that is css okay so now it is uh, installing the packages from through npm node package manager and you can see there is a folder already created angular charts inside this all the dependencies and uh, you know packages will be downloaded you have to download one extra uh, package that uh, we'll see first get complete
here so you can see uh, the uh, dependencies and packages have been installed now on this one you can see it is for the uh, git configuration and also you can ignore this one fine uh, then we'll now install a package of chart.js so for that we will go to this chart.js official website and you can see here you can you can run this command npm install chart.js so we will paste this command npm install chart.js and we'll wait for a couple of minutes because uh, we are installing this new package it may take some time based on the speed of your internet connection Fine. So we are done with the installation of chart.js. Now we'll simply run our application to see what it looks like. So we'll do ng serve hyphen o means ng is a command and then s means serve and hyphen hyphen o means we have given the options to open it into the browser. So if you're doing it for the first time, uh, the process of uh, building the bundles may take some time. Uh, but after that it will be quick okay so our angular charts application is launched now now this is the default app which you get from angular if you create uh, if you use ng create a command so this is a default app we'll get now we'll customize this uh, uh, for, uh, for our need okay so this is where we're gonna i think we're gonna stop this video let's meet in the next one till then keep coding and keep learning